Wyoming scored the first basket of the game. New Mexico has led ever since. The score is 22-16. We're in the second quarter. Four minutes and 12 seconds remain. Quarterfinal game, Mountain West Conference Women's Basketball Tournament. Reminder, be sure to listen to the conclusion of tonight's game for the PNM Reliable Player of the Game. We will highlight the Lobo who was most reliable in this contest. PNM delivers reliable energy for our communities and our nearly 1,500 New Mexico employees are proud to serve you. Talk to us at pnm.com. Two sixteen, New Mexico, the lead. Jason Nunn has six point seven rebounds, and she will shoot two free throws when we come out of this timeout. Maddie Washington with six for the Lobos. Sharice Bainton has not scored, but she has three assists, three rebounds, two blocks, great defense all over the court. Tisha Buck two, India Fly three, Linnea Bryan three, and Tonia Anderson two points, two rebounds, and three blocks. So here's Nunn to shoot two. 80% on the season. The Lobos is a team. As the first one is good, all net. The Lobos is a team, 75%. Now the second one for none. First free throw for anyone for the Lobos today. Second one is good. Wyoming, 4 of 4 from the free throw line. Now none will come out. Five on the floor for the Lobos. Bainan, Fly, Washington, Buck, and Anderson. Wyoming basketball, Lobos lead 24-16. Tapia, baseline to Gomez. Gomez drives block. That was either Buck or it was Anderson with the block. It's a block party for the Lobos. Here's Fly in transition to Washington. Thought about a three. Bainan, wide open. Her three ball is good. Sharice Bainan from straight on. Her first basket of the game. Lobos open up their biggest lead, 27-16. 3.45 to go until halftime. Lobos crowd is loving it. They've traveled well, as always, from Albuquerque here to Las Vegas for this tournament. Here's Cotton, top of the way, guarded by Bainan. One dribble. Bainan reaches in, poked it away. Cotton got it back. And now gets it to Tapia with 10 on the shot clock. Tapia points, wants a high ball screen. After a switch, Bainan picks her up. Six on the shot clock. Tapia looks inside, still looking inside. Throws it. Other side to Gomez into the Lobo bench. It would have been a shot clock violation anyways. Sharice Bainan was everywhere on that possession. The Lobos get the stop. Jason Nunn right back in. Tisha Buck will get a breather. Looks like Mike Bradbury is substituting his three stars a little bit more than usual, especially the trio of Anderson, Nunn, and Buck. It looks like he's rotating them a little bit more to keep them fresh with quicker breaks. Here's Bain into Anderson, far side wing, dribbles to the free throw line, kick out to Fly. Fly now dribbling with the left hand, back on the right side, kick out. Anderson, baseline three. Yes! Antonia Anderson drains it. 30 to 16 Lobos. Timeout Wyoming. The Lobos fans come to their feet. It's a 30 second timeout. We'll keep it right here. Well, for Antonia Anderson this season, she made one three pointer. I remember it. It was at UTEP because it was part of a stretch where she had a steal, a breakaway, and then hit a three pointer all within about a minute. That was only her second three pointer of the season. But what a time for it to come as the Lobos are on a 10 0 run. They were up 20 to 16. Now it's 30 to 16 with 3 0 1 remaining until halftime. Still a long ways to go. I don't have to remind Lobo fans. In fact, Lobo fans will probably be mad at me for reminding you of this, of how many times the Lobos have had double-digit leads in the first half and not been able to hold off. This Wyoming team is not going to go away, but right now Wyoming's a little bit shell-shocked. The Lobos have drained a lot of three-pointers. Six of 13 from downtown to the Lobos. Wyoming basketball. Rockovich back in to Tapia near the logo at midcourt. Tapia dribbles to the free-throw line. Bainan keeps her in front to Russ. Russ near side wing, guarded by Fly. Here's Rockovich kind of posting up now, faces up, driving into the paints of the block. A couple of fakes, turns around, tries to get it over Anderson. I think Anderson got another block. None ends up with it. If it wasn't a block, it was severely impacted by Anderson's presence. Hand off to fly to Anderson, far side to Washington. Washington jab, step, dribble, stop of the way. Inside the arc, backdoor cut, Bainan catches, feeds none, foul, and yes, it goes down! Bainan did not in a chance for a three-point play. Well, the backdoor cut is what set it up, and Bain in a tough catch, and then immediately found the open Nun. And now Nun to the free throw line. Wyoming's going to bring its best player, Liv Roberts, back onto the floor. 
as Tapia goes out. Here's Nunn at the free throw line. It is in and out, and a whistle. A lane violation. Lane violation against Wyoming. And so Nunn will get another opportunity to convert this old-fashioned three-point play. Spins it in her hands on the bounce three times. Spins it again. Bends the knees. Free throw. Good. So the Lobos catch another break. 33-16. The Lobos are on a 13-0 run. 2-18 to go until halftime. Russ behind the back dribble, top of the way. Bounce pass to Roberts. Roberts looks right, passes right to Rokovic. Rokovic, one dribble to Roberts, top of the way, guarded by Anderson. Just holding, now passes. Caught a tough catch by Baker. Swatted down onto the ground by Nunn. Loose ball, scramble, bodies everywhere, arms everywhere. And we're going to have a jump ball. And on the alternating possession, it's still going to be Wyoming possession. Rokovic was surrounded by Bainan and Washington and Nunn. Maybe Fly might have been in there as well. They'll mop up all the sweat that's on the ground. And Wyoming will inbound right side of the basket. Roberts the inbounder. Lobos gave up an easy two on the last inbound play for Wyoming. Roberts looks right. Lobos defended. They have to throw it back to midcourt where Fly, like a defensive back, deflected it, but still ended up with the rust. She crosses over, drives. Her little eight-footer is no good as the shot clock went off. Ball out of bounds. It'll be New Mexico basketball. Shot was no good. It was not a shot clock violation. She did get it off in time but missed it, and it was last touch by Wyoming. Lobos on a 13-0 run, looking for more. The score is 33-16, 1.47 left until halftime. Bainan points to the left hand, dribbles to the right hand, near side wing, gets a high ball screen from Anderson. Step back three is no good, and Wyoming grabs the rebound and a silly foul on Antonia Anderson. Well, it was an aggressive foul, trying for the offensive rebound. She just tapped her chest as she looked at her teammates and said, my bad. Trying to keep the play alive. That's an effort foul, although it does look silly when you really didn't have much of a chance for the offensive rebound and you give away a foul. So here's Rusk for Wyoming. Top of the way, guarded by Bainan, dribbles near side wing, cut off at the elbow, keeps the dribble, throws far side to Baker. Entry pass to Cotton, she got knocked down, no foul, still Wyoming ball. None was coming over to help out on the double team, and there was a collision. Play on, last touch by New Mexico. Roberts inbounds right in front of the Lobos players to Rusk. Rusk kick out to Cotton. Cotton, couple of ball fakes, dribbles near side wing, hands it off to Rusk. Rusk will dribble backwards momentarily. Now looking to drive against Bainan. Couple of crossovers in the paint, back to the basket. Pass to Baker, who catches and lays it in. Patience by Wyoming was a virtue in that possession. That snaps the Lobos 13 0 run. 33 18. New Mexico leads. One minute to go. Lobos a chance for a two for one here. Bainan just holding it for now, near side wing. As Bradbury says to Bainan, I want you on this far side. Now dribbles to the near side wing. Ten on the shot clock. There's some confusion for the Lobos on where everybody should be. Bain is still just dribbling. Now passes to Fly. Medium range jumper. About a 17 footer is no good. Rebounded by Wyoming. Four second differential shot clock and game clock. That sequence didn't quite look it like it was very smooth. Here's Rokovic at the free throw line. And now she'll dribble it back out beyond the arc. Waiting for a screen instead. Just hands it off to Rusk. Rusk inside of Roberts. Backing in. Pass goes to Cotton. Way too far over head. Has to track it down at the three point line. To Rokovic on the block. Guarded by Nunn. Kicks it back out to Roberts. Roberts looks inside, seven on the shot clock. Roberts dribbles to the wing. Dangerous pass caught by Rokovic. Pass inside is deflected out of bounds. It'll still be Wyoming ball. But one second on the shot clock. Bainan holds up one finger to tell her teammates. Bailey Cotton for Wyoming tells her teammates. One on the shot clock. Six seconds left until halftime. Roberts will inbound. They're looking for some type of tip ball. Pass is deflected. Bodies fly everywhere. And this will be a shot clock violation. Cotton and Bainan were both going after it. Both got knocked down. And it'll be New Mexico ball. 4.9 seconds left. Anderson will roll it so Bainan doesn't have to pick it up until Russ gets close. Now she picks it up across midcourt. Heaves with two seconds. And no good. Almost banked it in just past midcourt. And that takes us to halftime. What a first half it was for the New Mexico Lobos. A big 13-0 run midway through the second quarter going into the final minute of the second quarter has bumped New Mexico's lead 33-18 over Wyoming. We'll take a break here from Albertson's Market Radio Row. When we come back, we'll start the Lobo Halftime Report.